Did any romances blossom in the past month? Give us the scoop. There have been romances in the past month. Ooh, did any romances blossom from this trip? The answer is yes. Yes, there has been some romance on the boat. The couples were... So it's official. I got a tattoo. And I am a tattoo artist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am a tattoo artist. Okay, now get the tattoo gun. Gun? The gun. Make it real. That's, that's really sick. pretty. Show me your drawing. Right. Where's your drawing? It was off. Oh, it was of... on your phone? Yeah. Is that something you want? Not particularly. Yeah. But cool. I really like the way it looks. Should you could. Oh, that's kind of big though. It is big. You don't. You can't hide that thing. few days of land activities in Athens and then they're all leaving to go on to go to Italy and Switzerland and do some other stuff on their own. It's That's sad it. That's it. to not be on the boat anymore. No more water activities, no more bow dragging, no more swimming. Hey, no more yeah, Whitakers. No more Whitakers. Oh, oh, oh just sides. to be here. Both, both sides. Yeah. You just can't play in the water. Oh, I thought you were talking about us going to Italy. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, oh, I'm not. I'm in denial. I'm sorry. It's dark. You didn't do this right. That's right. That's right? That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Where should I put this? I want to try it. Yes, I, I think right? it's right. Oh, it's right. right. <laughs> Where should I put it? 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot how to do it. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, I got it. I got it. Let's go. <laughs> Good job. Somehow I did the same high? knot but different second time around. It's, uh, it's on there though. All right. If we lose fenders, we'll charge you. <laughs> then I'll dive in and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, looks like it's slow. Ta-da. Boom! See? Pro teacher. Good job. Pro student. Let's go. Renee, will you take a picture for us if we get in? Yes, <laughs> come on. Sleeping? Come in. All right, ready? I think we can fit here. Oh my gosh. I bet you all the ladies could fit in here. Yes, all the ladies. Can you just squeeze in there? Kate's actually working. Kate! Stop working. Make Finn do it. <laughs> yeah, they're wanting you to get in the lot in the fender locker for a photo. Yeah, because okay. they're weird. We're going here. Good question. Don't you dare fall, or you will literally yak up my legs. Oh my gosh. Okay, now hold on. Wow. This is like crossing the border of Mexico. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have slime lines so you can take those lines off, Jack. Off the front. I'm so sad. <sighs> this is I'm the beginning so of the end. It is, literally. It feels weird because this is we're not gonna be out on water anymore. No. We're only gonna be on port for the next what, six days? And I didn't even dive 20 meters. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to find it. Do it right here in the marina. Uh, this is not 20 meters deep. No, no shot. Don't, don't, don't swim in the marina. I mean, it's just gonna be both stern. Is this not a med form? This 
Texas. I said they're slime lines. Makes your fenders are good. Nothing gonna hit nowhere. Forward with the Yeah, y'all did good. Always room for improvement, but that was pretty good. That was pretty good. No, man. He's so positive. <laughs> oh, shoot. On camera. I got it. I saw. Uh, she just tried to assault me. Yeah, did you see that? I did. That's yeah, so what's happening in the city. <laughs> did you swim in here? No, you don't. Let's go. You can. <laughs> if you'd like to, you can jump oh right in. Yeah, I think it's good. I don't, I think they, I think they prohibit it anyway. It is dangerous. Sounds like it's a lot. So what are we doing, Gloria Dina? We are switching out the AC units in the boys' side of the boat. Uh, there's finally died. Yeah. We still have a brand new CTN unit right there. Look at this bad boy. No. Put this, it has all the parts and pieces in it. Now we all installed all the others while our Red Sea crew was here. And this one was working. So we didn't replace it. But now it's died. And We'll now put in Jack's brand new CTM unit. This is really riveting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am on a YouTube video. I've watched this before. So why not watch it again? You could probably replace it yourself, huh? I, you know, I could. I remember there's a red thing and a blue thing, right? And then you had to like... <laughs> <laughs> I remember that because that's what I got messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember. I drove my shimmy to the lady, but the lady was dry. Them good old boys, boys and singing whiskey, whiskey and wine, singing this will be the day that I die. Get on the dock right now. Wow, oh, this one's heavy. Putting these little things on, foam pads, uh, vibration dampeners. I think so too. So we're putting in these nice nice air conditioning units they're really good they make the air really cold and you know they really just chill your room off on a hot nice day so go get yourself some air conditioning units from ctm jack go get me a big uh um zip tie okay a long big white one or black one And that's how we install a CTM. Thanks, CTM, for the great air cons. Thank you, CTM. Thank you. Let's go. All right. Can you guess where we're going? Me and Keith, where we're going? Where do we always go? Oh, this is sketchy. That's where all didn't work right there. So we're going to go get a few groceries. I think the kids are going to do all of the inland activities, the ruins, the Acropolis, the Parthenon, but we're not going to go because we've already seen it. And when you've seen one pile of rocks, you've seen them all. Seen them all. And the grocery store is just a short walk. It's right there. Easy enough. So the grocery store's not open. It's Sunday. It is 11 a.m. on Sunday. Surely the store opens at some point today. Here's Times. 
Sunday closed. Sunday closed. All day. Oh boy. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go find a store that's open. So they leave in a few days. Today's Sunday, they leave Wednesday. And it's been such a good time. But I think I'm ready to get my boat back. I'm tired of cleaning for 10 people. Yes. All right, this little store's open today. Let's see. There you go. We got a banana? Yes. Yeah. We got to carry all this back. I don't know. I'm on Instagram right now and the audio's not working. I keep saying audio unavailable. Oh my gosh, I'm having that same thing. I think it's because they're dealing with rights in the States or because we're in Greece, we can't get it. America's just so much better. <laughs> I just think it's because we're in a different country and they don't have the rights to these songs in Greece. So, you know what? Let's text Renee, let's see what's up. It's so annoying. We don't need milk, we got plenty of milk. Uh, oh, oh. What's wrong now? I don't know. I just got a message from Glory and from Luke. Something's wrong with the Wi-Fi. I can't get audio to play on Instagram. I know what it is. Luke, I'm out shopping for food for you guys. Oh my what? God. Didn't Keith tell you about Surfshark? No. Mm, no, I haven't heard that? about that. Surfshark is our virtual private network that keeps our information safe and protected while browsing online. With the luck you've been having, I think you need the extra protection. <laughs> Surfshark also allows you to bypass websites that are blocked in certain countries, which is the problem you're having right now with audio on Instagram. What you guys need to do is download the Surfshark app and get our login from Keith. We do have it on the boat, but you'll need it once you guys leave the boat and y'all go on into Italy and Switzerland. Yeah, totally. So hop over to surfshark.deals forward slash Zatara and sign up. The cool thing is with our coupon code, it's only about $2 a month. Oh, awesome. I'm on it. Next, navigate to the app on your phone and select the U.S. from over a hundred countries. Click connect and voila, you're no longer silenced on Instagram. You can build the coolest reels with the perfect music. Sweet, can I get this on my computer too? Of course, Surfshark allows unlimited devices so you can put it on all your stuff. Thanks Renee. Thanks Renee. That's so cool. You're welcome. Now I'd like to go back to grocery shopping. Just a few things today. So what's going on here? I uh, just needed some bread. Today's Luke's birthday. And Maddie wants to make French toast for him for brunch. Breakfast. Breakfast is over. He's 21. We've had Kate's, Kate's birthday, Maddie's birthday, Luke's birthday, and I think Glory had one right before, and Gabriella. I think they all have like a birthday. You gotta have hummus. Okay. I think we're gonna go see Indiana Jones today, maybe? Indiana Jones. You can't not see the final Indiana Jones movie. Can't you can't not see it. Yeah, I've seen them all since 1987 or 1978. Or yeah, me too. 1979, it's been a long time. When they came out in theaters. Ah. Yes, that's how old we are. Med Crew 2023 is coming to an end and I am no longer going to be sailing on the boat with these amazing people and I'm getting really sad. I just want to say I am heartbroken to be leaving the boat. I loved this experience so much. I could totally stay here for a year. This was a really fun month and I would definitely want to do this again. Everybody got along, everybody stayed the whole time and it was so much fun. I'm ready for them to leave but I don't like I, I think it was a perfect amount of time for them to stay. I think it was a great experience and I would definitely do it again in the Caribbean. What's been your favorite part of the last month? One of the greatest moments of all. It has to be the night we camped. We just saw this little island, like it had nothing on it and we decided to camp there, spend a the night. One of my favorite moments also was, there was one night we decided to go sleep on the beach. It was gorgeous, the stars were stunning. It was so much fun. Like we spent the night with giant rats, literally. We were. We would wake up to them like touching our legs and then everybody would scream and wake up. It was so much fun. Definitely one of the best memories that I've had when we went and slept over to an island. We set up small beds and we were like covered up in the grass and there were rats crawling all over us which I thought were rabbits at first. My favorite part of the last month was definitely catapulting where Keith uh, attached a line from the dinghy onto the mast, the top of the mast and then we attached the rope in between the middle of the line and so Keith would go and then it would pull us out of the water and then we'd get to do a flip or something. It was really cool, 
really, really fun. We found this merry-go-round back in Lavrio and it was like, it was so much fun. It was like, it would spin so fast and we literally, Jack threw up. It was like, it was insane. My favorite activity we've done over the last month has been all of our dance parties or our karaoke nights. Those have been super fun. Hold me like I'm more than just a friend. Second would have to be doing backflips off of various heights, um, either off the back of the boat or the boom or a cliff or something like that. Also bow dragging, I've said it before, that was really fun. But my new flex, this is my big one. The second spreader on the mast, it's probably like 60 feet tall and you kind of have to like step out and you kind of just have to like balance on like just a few toes before you jump out and you have to clear over the boat. And I am the only woman who has jumped from Sailing Zatara's second spreader, and that right there, that's my biggest flex right now. My favorite part was free diving for sure. I loved it. It's not about the fun, it's not about adrenaline, like all the other things we did. It is about the peace, you know, the testing your limits. Oh, we just loved that. This journey is so not the life that I'm used to, so I've been having lots and lots of first times. I've been paddle boarding for the first time, cliff jumping, bow dragging, wakeboarding, and so many things. It's been an insane month. Did any romances blossom in the past month? Give us the scoop. <laughs> there have been romances in the past month. Ooh, did any romances blossom from this trip? Um, so as you guys know, I have a girlfriend, Emily, and uh, so I was off limits this whole trip, but the others weren't. And so the couples were... <laughs> truck way down there and they just run a hose all the way down the dock to fill us up with fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So unfortunately this is our ice maker. It has died. Yeah, so I just texted these guys and uh, and uh, I uh, I think they're gonna be able to fix it. What happened? Uh, the ice maker part, they mix the ice, it's got a short in it or something, and it's fried. So anyway, work it up. An ice maker. We need our ice. We gotta have ice. We have to have ice. An ice maker at shore. We gotta fix on it. We gotta we gotta cut those wires ice, and we gotta ice, screw them baby. in. And then I gotta get out there on the fields. <laughs> Ice, the people ice, need ice. Come on, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with a brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Flow like a harpoon daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights up and I'll glow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up a stage and I can jump like a game of dance. With a sweet of that move, like a poisonous. The, 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 the coil that heats up the ice tray that melts the ice. It, it, that's what went bad. The wires in there went bad, and the, it, it. Yep. okay. All right. Well, I, well, the, the the ice maker will be sitting here. All you gotta do is pick it up. Five hundred fifty-five liters. Five hundred fifty-five liters. How much is it a liter? Buck fifty-four, buck a year, a dollar fifty-four euro per liter. All right. If you remember, if you remember a few weeks back, or gosh, probably oh. six weeks, yeah, we renewed our passports, and so now we're going downtown to pick them up. And today is our last day with our med crew. They leave in the morning to head to Italy, and they're going to do another two weeks hopping in Europe, and then they're going back home. And we leave Greece. So. And we leave Greece. We're headed over to Italy in the boat.
So you can only pick your passports up on Tuesdays between 12 and one o'clock. And today's Tuesday and we're leaving tomorrow. Um, however, today's 4th of July um, and the American consulate is closed. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, so hopefully we can come back tomorrow. He said maybe we can come back tomorrow and pick him up. I hope, because I don't want to stay here another week. We've got plans. And it costs a lot to stay in that marina. We'd have to go out to Anchorage. Sweet. Look at that thing. Go ahead and get that installed right quick and get it running. Yeah. I expect the switch off. How much was it to fix? 671 euros. Oh, I don't know. No. Which is good. Well, it's three thousand dollars new. Three thousand dollar ice maker. As MedCrew 2023 comes to a close, we're so grateful for the friends we've made. They've left a permanent mark on our lives. We've sailed and swam and explored, and we've laughed and cried and danced and sang, and actually had no idea that these girls could sing so beautifully. I think I love this med crew. I know. I know. They're good. It's going to be sad when they leave. Did any romances blossom in the past month? There have been romances in the past month. Short answer to the question, has there been any romance? The answer is yes. Am I going to talk about it? No. Yes, there has been some romance on the boat and uh, it's been adding some spice to the trip. Of course, like, we're young people, we're in our 20s, so of course we have crushes and all that stuff, but crushes come and go, and that's fine, so. I definitely was pretty hesitant in the, before coming out here, because I was like, you know, it's not practical to have a crush on someone, like, it's not practical to, like, feel, like, cutesy with someone when you're, like, living on the same boat as them for a month, like, in my head, I was like, I'm not gonna let that happen just because it doesn't make any sense. And so I stuck with that pretty well. And coming to the end of the trip, I kind of regret that actually a little bit. Um, I don't talk about these kind of things on the internet because I don't like the internet. Romance. Uh, no. <laughs> relax. Just <laughs> relax. I know I look kind of like a five year old right now, but it's 4th of July and I'm. You can unbutton one more, honestly. Sorry. Like this? <laughs> I'm just kidding, no. <laughs> Time for the second part of this video. Oh my gosh. Me and Madeline, we're just friends. I know it's hard for Jack and Finn to maintain a relationship on a boat because you're always moving, meeting new people. I will miss Madeline. I will. She's a very special person to me. But I'm sure we'll see each other again soon when I'm living in my van. I'll stop by Oklahoma, but that's all. Let's go. Hey guys, it's me. I know what you're asking. You're asking me why, Renee, why did you cut Luke off when he starts talking about who's coupling up with who? And the reason I did that is because I promised these guys I would not share any personal information about them on the internet. So out of respect for them, I will leave it to your imagination. Nothing happened that wasn't rated PG. There might've been some hand-holding. There was lots and lots of deep conversations. They all got very close. And so I really feel like they've made uh, lifelong friends and hopefully they'll, they'll stay in touch. They're, the five of them got really close, so they're going on to do some more traveling for the next two weeks. And we are packing the boat up, checking out of Greece, and heading on to the rest of the med. So 
We'll miss him. We'll miss him tremendously. The house will be very quiet, but we wish him well. What advice would you give a future potential crew member to get the most out of this experience? Do not hold yourself back. Do everything that is to be done. Like, you're gonna regret not doing it much more than you regret maybe getting hurt from it. Advice to a new crew member. I would say um, definitely don't be a wuss. You gotta try new things. You gotta push your limits all the time. Um, especially around Jack and Finn. I mean, they're constantly pushing themselves. You gotta push yourself. Push your limits. Do things that you never thought you would try and experience new things and have the time of your life because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I would have to say number one, be on time, okay? Do not be a week later because you'll miss out the getting to know each other. Everyone will be like already like really comfortable and you're the only one trying to get to know them and connect with them deeply. Be prepared for deep, deep conversations. Don't stray away from deep conversations or awkward conversations. I think some of my favorite times out on the boat have actually been having deep conversations with people. There's nothing that's like too awkward to talk about out here, so. Seize your chances, seize your moments. Do not say, we're gonna be here for a while, I can do this cliff jump later, because this lifestyle is very spontaneous, okay? Keith will be like, okay, we're staying here for two days, and then the next hour, Keith is like, all right, we're going now, wrap them sails up or whatever. When you're making your video, make it actually authentic to who you are. If you aren't honest, then it's just not gonna work out. I don't even know if we're gonna do this again. So if we do, better make your video nice and good. You know, don't go saying you love the ocean because everyone says they love the ocean. Overall though, this is probably the last interview and I mean, it was an amazing time. I can't believe I got to come out here and experience this. I think I might start YouTube after this. So if you want to follow me on YouTube, thank you Keith and Renee for letting me come out. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have to say for this interview. I know I went from wearing a shirt to no shirt, but I, you know how I do it. That's it, I'm really sad, but part of the journey is the end. So I'll see you out there in the water. <laughs> bye bye. Tune in next week as we say goodbye to our med crew and head off for the next adventure. Not to the phone. No, you don't. I don't like them on. Calling me from my. Oh! your picture away. I wonder where you've been. Ben, right here, baby.